My task for this morning is to hang up some pictures. This is this is my favorite picture that my brother Adam has taken. That's El Capitan. Right there. And then here's the other one that he gave us too, which I have to frame still, but the Golden Gate Bridge. If you guys like those pictures, go down to the Green Day Cafe if you live around here. And they're all for sale there. Here's the other one that he gave us. I like it. He's a really good photographer. Yay, photography. Well, this is kind of annoying. Uh, these little things that they used to hang the, the pictures up on the wall, they didn't come attached to the back of my frame. So now I have to measure it out and put them in myself. And they didn't give me any pre-drilled holes or anything. Oh, it's going to be so ridiculous and Bandit's helping. Now I'm angry. If you can't figure it out... Hit it with a hammer. What do you guys think? Professional? Home done. I think it's good. There it is. My hallway of art. What do you think? I think I kind of hang pictures high, but I like them that way. I don't know. They're right at my eye level. Let's try to make this a productive day, unlike yesterday. Let's see if we can't get this, what's left of the tree, outside. Because I had a viewer tell me that it's not a good idea to burn the Christmas tree in the fireplace because you might get sap build up and then burn your house down. So we're not going to burn any more in the fireplace. We might burn some more outside tonight, but I need to get it out there first. My house is a mess. Well, looks like we got something else to do on our productive day. At least the Christmas tree is less cumbersome now. Let's see if I can't get it outside one-handed. Okay. Switch grips. Lucky for me, we have an outdoor fire pit, too. I don't make a nice fire tonight. That's a pretty funny scene. The little circle where the Christmas tree used to be. How many of you guys have dogs? that play with the most ridiculous things. Like Bandit has this rope toy that used to be like a bone, had two knots on either side, and now it's just kind of the two knots are all left and he's been slowly eating it away and eating it away. But just now, he brought this piece over to me to play fetch with him. You want it? You want it? Go get it. It's too, no, don't eat it. Whoa. This corner looks so barren now. Let's see if you guys really pay attention. You remember this guy? So long, random, unknown Christmas ornament of a kid. See you next year. I liked having the Christmas lights around the uh, computer so much because it kept it light at night and stuff like that. I think I'm going to try to do this as a uh, an LED candle. I think I'm going to make it so it runs off the USB. See if it even works. I don't know. It might. It takes like... Two D-cell batteries. I don't even know how many volts that is. We'll see if five volts will power it though. I found a D-cell. I had to take it out of my big flashlight, but it's a, a volt and a half. Three volts for two of them. I don't know. Five volts should be okay. We'll see if we start a fire. Here's what it looks like running on batteries. It's too bright outside for you guys really to be able to see it. Here. There's my USB plug-in in there. All I did was connect the black over here to the negative, red to the positive. I already tested it out. Well, I didn't test it with it in here. We'll test it right now. As always, I like to test it with a wall plug before I test it in the computer. There it is in there running, no batteries. Set it down here. Plug this guy in. Turns on. How nice. It's got a switch on the bottom too that does timer and stuff. Like, I can let it run for five hours, but here's off, there's on. Eh, we'll plug it into the computer, see what it does. There's my fancy candle running off my USB, plugged in back there. Here, I'll even show you guys. There it is. How nice. USB. No tricks. Now I have a Zen workstation. Has anybody else been like me where I haven't showered since... <laughs> We went out for New Year's Eve. Ooh, time to take a shower. Oh my goodness, I feel so much better. I'd say that I'm getting pretty proficient at being self-proficient. Uh, I have my own uh, soda maker. 
excuse me, my own deep fryer. I got my own ice cream maker. I'm getting ready to make some ice cream. Oh, I got the hiccups or burps. I'm getting ready to make some ice cream right now. Only I would have something like this in my kitchen. Soldering iron, ice cream maker. Just made it through my first can of CO2 from my soda water maker. And hopefully these things aren't very expensive because it's only been like a week since I got it. We got it for Christmas and it's just past New Year's now. And we already gone through one bottle. I still got, what, like three more back there, but still. I hope it pays for itself. Special thanks to username the Derek Van. Thanks for the shout out in your video. Go check out his videos too. Uh, YouTube.com slash the Derek Van. On my way over to my friend's house, uh, who actually asked me if I wanted to go to the beach tomorrow. Take that, northerners. Uh, we're gonna see if we can play some Scrabble, or not Scrabble, Pictionary. But there's only gonna be three of us, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. But we're gonna try. I used to hate moving people into apartment complexes just for this reason, having to go up and down the stairs. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, I forgot what floor I'm on. What is this, third? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, good. I win. That's my piece. Here's everybody else. I guess sometimes people get annoyed at me when I'm playing games with them because I always win. I don't know how you guys up in the snow deal with this. It's like maybe 42 degrees outside and I am freezing cold. I mean, I'd rather sweat than be this cold. There's the final product of our homemade ice cream. Let's give it a try. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like it's store bought. So good. Ready for this? Watch. Bandit. Come here, Bandit. Bandit. What's that? What's that? There you are. Good boy. Now it's time for bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.